What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode here at Stenner for Stingray Biology. So over the weekend I shipped out a fish from this bottom tank here and now it's empty. I'm trying to figure out what I should put in there. I mean I have a lot of choices of what I can move in there and um, I just want to pick something that I can put in there that will grow, prosper, um, potentially breed in there, and at the same time make space in other tanks. So I think, so I think I'm gonna do a very quick and simple move. Uh, if you guys remember, I had put these guys in here not too long ago, maybe a couple of months ago. They've been growing really nicely, <clears throat> and we're actually starting to get some aggression some of the males, I don't know which one, but started beating up on this girl right here and uh, kind of damaged her disc. But since then, I've put in this divider here, you see? And uh, she's come back nicely. See, she's responsive. She sees us. She's coming out. Uh, but for a while there, she wasn't really eating very well. But uh, she ate well today. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move a couple of these guys out of here and transfer it over into this empty tank so by spacing them out giving them more room uh, hopefully it will diffuse the aggression and um, you know we'll, we'll see how that goes and since after moving some some guys out from this tank here um, I think there's space here I might take some other fish from another tank to put in there to grow out with them all right so let's get started let me go get the tray and my nets and i'll be right back yeah all right come on Oi. let's so <clears throat> let me open up this cover here and uh, we're just gonna catch a couple of these guys out from over here and uh let me i gotta open up these tanks here which one should i move I don't know. I think I'll move the bigger ones, right? That's okay. probably a better choice. So go ahead, show them what. Let's see, I think I'll take. What? I'll move this big girl first. They've grown so much since we put it in here. We moved it in here only a couple of months ago. And look how big they are. Right? Oh. oh, she's got a bunch of bite marks on her too. You see that red over there? Yeah. Yeah. But let's bring her over to here. Let's see, release her nice and slow. There you go. All right. Not too bad, right? Yeah. Much better than the other day when the, with the albino female, right? She went crazy on us. Yep. Um, next. Okay, next. Okay. I think I'll move that one over there. This one, the guy with the lines. Oh, nice and easy. I like it. See guys, black diamonds are much more calm, gentle. They're not erratic like the pearl rays. But let's hope I didn't speak too soon, so let me just get the job done instead of talking so much. Ah, boy. So look, he's got some bite marks on, on the sides here as well. You see it? Can you so she's got some bite mark. This, well, he's a he, because you see the clasp is right there. And you see the bite marks right there. It's old injury, it's healing, but obviously somebody's picking on this guy as well. So somebody was picking on both the male and the female. So there must be a bully in this tank. All right, well, you're good now. And 
The last one is this guy right here, the ones with all the lines down the middle. That's amazing. And um, it looked like he had some damage on the side as well, but that's all healed up. So he might be the culprit. He might be the one beating up the other ones, but I don't know. Oh, bless you. Thank you. So we'll move that one over, and I think that will be the three that I will put in here for now, and let's see how they get along. All right. Okay. Next. All right, next. I really like this guy. The pattern is absolutely amazing. The lines on it, beautiful. Come on, go in there nice and peacefully, just like your other ones, or your other friends. There we go. in the last guy here now. This move wasn't too bad. Come on. He doesn't want to come off the tub. There we go. I want to show all three to everybody. Can they see it? It's a little dark, right? Mm -hmm. All right, well, anyways, mm, we, gotta, we gotta give them time to adjust. Every time you move a fish to a new tank, they gotta get um, used to their new surroundings. Um, hopefully, I'm not overcrowding this tank because I do have, what, one, two, three, four, five um, young adult breeders in here. And now I just put three more down there, so it's pretty tight for this system <clears throat> I'm gonna have to monitor the, the water quality here pretty closely to make sure everything is good um, let me show everybody real quick the pup that we produced um, I never filmed this one or I never uh, made a video on this guy but it's from the the parents uh, actually it's from these guys up top here I believe let me think, uh, this was the father, and that was the mother. But this guy is turning out pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, hey, give you guys a good look at him. I think there'll be a lot of potential in this guy. Knowing me, I'll probably keep it for a future breeder. All right, All right. Um, let's see. I'm gonna free up that divider over there and let that female out so that she has more room to swim. And what I will do is I'm gonna grab a couple of these guys in here because they're in a pretty tight space here. They need room. And I'm gonna put it in there, the tank that I just cleared out some space. That way they have room to grow as well. So. All right guys, we also got some other things going on here. We got some Bozmani pups again. Let me show you real quickly. There's one baby right there. I think that's two, three, and four. Yep, I think it's four. And what else is going on here? Okay, we got some sperm right there. So they remated as well. On top of moving the, the the on top of moving those rays around, we got some pups today, which is great news. It's always great news to get more pups. Let me go pull these out, and then I'll show you real quickly what they look like. Get them into their basket. I'll be right back. All right, here's two guys right here. They look pretty good, nice and healthy, no damage, so good clean birth. Let me go get them into their baskets. Let's go. I am filming myself today and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drop it into this basket for now and then the older pups that are in here I will take it out and move it later on into a bigger tank all right so now let's see two more to go okay check it out these are the next two they're pretty good size and again very healthy 
No uh, partial yolk sacs underneath. So glad to hear that. I'm sure these guys will be doing very well in this tank. There we go. So I'm just gonna mark the date that we found sperm as well. There it is again. Give you guys one last look. That's the sign that they remade it. I'm sure by now you guys are all experts on this, right? On sexing pups and looking for signs of mating. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Take care guys.